Hello and welcome to the video. This is a very quick tip for somebody who's just asked a question about how you forward a channel to control something like a servo for a drop mechanism or landing gear or whatever. Now here we have a little PixHawk cube and uh, I have a little servo as well plugged into it on one of the spare auxiliary channels and I can move the servo using a switch on the radio. And let me show you how that works first of all and I'll show you how that's set up. It is all moving. Wonderful stuff. Now the PixHawk cube here is on a mini carrier board, but don't worry about that. This is the same for all PixHawk style systems. The key with this is that you do need to make sure that there is power on the rails that the server is connected to, but I'll come back to that at the end. So here inside Mission Planner, the first place we need to go is into radio calibration so that I can see which channel I'm controlling with the switch. Now, if I flick the switch that I want to use, there it is. You can see in the top channel five moving left and right, that is going to be the one that we are used to control the servo, but it could be any of them depending how you've got it set up. So if I just jump back on the bench, so that's how it's set up. Channel 5 is set to SG, the switch SG. So as I move that, that's changing the value inside Mission Planner. Now we can go that, we go to Servo Outputs. There's all the standard ones, AETR. And on Output 8, where the servo's plugged in, I've slaved it to the input that we've just looked at. However, it, this is where you set up whatever you want. But for now, we know it's RC input 5 that we want. We've just seen that. So if I set that and then flick the switch on the radio, you'll see there is the value changing. So that value is now output. Now you can change the midpoint and travel of that particular servo using these three controls here for min and max and the center position. So back on the desk, there we are. We have the servo plugged into output 8 and now we're using channel 5 or RC5 set up for that servo it's all working there is only one little wrinkle with this with pixhawk the only output that is powered with five volts by default is the first one the rc input and that's where i've got my receiver all the others are not powered at all so normally it would be powered by the battery eliminator circuit from something like the speed controller for the throttle that you have plugged in here but i haven't got that so i've had to plug in a battery eliminator circuit alongside this servo to make sure that it's got power and because it's got power and because it's configured inside Ardu Pilot inside Mission Planner for output 8 it's all working so that's how you do it Thank you for watching my video and watching right to the very end. If you want to find out what I'm currently working on, you can follow me on social media by searching for Painless360 in the usual places. If you'd like to become part of the inner circle, then you can become a Patreon. Details are in the description and you get lots of additional benefits. Check out the playlist section on the channel too. I organize all of my videos into playlists and it's called something like Introduction to or for Beginners. All of the content is aimed so that you can start at the very beginning and it teaches you that subject, starting with simple principles and moving up to teach you everything you need to know.